in the name of my ancestors, I am the Angel Snub Nub 7. Peace forever and always, and welcome once again to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I'm your host, your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talib Ibn Ra. I want to say I am very disappointed, upset, and angry. Yes. Well, fella, you sound like you're upset and angry all the time. <laughs> No, that's just how I talk <clears throat> on video. But I am. I, I'm, I'm very upset and angry and disappointed. When I look at a video that I make asking us to look over our differences to put aside temporarily for the moment our ego and our pride and reach out and touch another brother and sister's hand so that we can unify one another with one another. When I have made videos like this and they barely get a hundred views Yes, anybody in their right mind that is black should be upset because this is a dangerous sign. It is the verification of those who say that we are so full of self-hate that we can't accomplish nothing. So you make what they say, the negativity they say, true. And there's nothing I can do about it. But for me, I can say, look, I'm trying. You can't say Brother Talib did not try to unify with his people. Everybody want to do their thing. Y'all like being slaves, don't you? Yeah, you do. See, some of y'all don't want unification. Because y'all make money off black people. You want to sell DVDs and books and tapes and all this other stuff. You want people to look up to you like you know so much. And you watch yourself get rich. Exploring your own people. Because they just want to know. And you know we are in bad shape. And we love being hyped up. You want celebrity? Uh-uh, Negro, you ain't gonna get nothing from my celebrity. I'm so-and-so. If I unite with this Negro who ain't nothing, then some of my celebrity gonna wipe off on him. And I really don't like him. I don't, I'm not gonna help that Negro be somebody. The bottom line is with all our talk, Black Revolution, Hotel, Assalamu alaikum. With all our talk, we really like this condition. For real. Because there's a benefit. And the benefit is self grandizement We want to be the great leaders. Follow me. But you're not leading black people because black people are everybody. Black people are homosexuals. Black people are bisexuals. Black people are Christians. Black people are Muslims. Black people are Democrats, Republicans. We are a whole lot of us. You want to grow your club. But at the same time, you talk about I represent and care about. You don't give a damn about black people. Because black people, all black people are not going to join your damn club. We 
should be seeking beautification. Just like the United States of America, all these Caucasians in America that formed the United States, they didn't 100% agree with one another, but they had a common purpose and a common goal and a common enemy at the time, which was Great Britain. Because Great Britain only saw them as a colony fit for exportation. But the white people here, he was doing all the work, and they said we'd be damned if we continue to allow the mother country to continue to export us. Y'all Negroes like being exported. And you run your mouth. You know, y'all remind me, black conscious, black power, whatever the hell you want to call yourself. You remind me of them sick, mentally ill folks that I was living with in that insane asylum. They always was running their mouth. I'm going to be free. I'm tired of these old hunky old doctors. I'm going to be free. They run their mouth. I heard them 24 hours a day. I'm going to get free. Just like y'all do. I free the hotel. Assalamu alaikum. We're going to be free one day. God's going to do something. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all talk all that noise. So then I approach the person that's supposed to be wanting to be free. I said, look, I learned how to file for your freedom. Then, when the reality hit them that they could actually become free, then they numb them all up. Then there's a problem. <laughs> because it's really, because see, they've been locked up all this time. Really, freedom scares them. That's y'all problem. I done figured it out. Freedom, see, talking about it and doing something is two different things. You really scared to be free. Because you don't know what it is. Y'all talk all that stuff. See, you do know that black unity, if we do it correctly, can set us free. But you don't, all of y'all don't really have no plan. So what if you do get free? You have no real plan. You got, if you're talking about leading black people, there are from 17 to a maximum, I guess, of 60 million black people in this country. So what if they all of a sudden we get free? See, y'all talk all that look. What you gonna do with these black people? See, y'all talk trash. Black conscious. You ain't no black conscious and you selfish. Because why would you, if you have the tools and the ability to free us, why would you keep us in this condition and pass this garbage down to your children? Huh? Why would you do that? If you can get free. If we got the tool. The only thing you got to do is set aside your pride. Set aside your ego. Join your brother and sister. And compromise and work together like those white revolutionaries done back in 1770 whatever. Because y'all scary cowards. Selfish. That's why my video, a Black Unity video, should be getting hundreds of views. But it don't. Not because of me. But because of the idea. I support Black Unity. Because Black Unity can set us free. And I want to be free. Not talk about it. But see, that's all y'all are. Just like them old wackos in the nut house. They really afraid. And some of them guys even told, told me, I'm afraid to be free, man. They even admit it. And y'all don't want to admit it. You talk big stuff, but you don't want to admit it. It's a scary thing. I'll tell you the truth. When I knew that I was going to be free from incarceration, it was scaring me. But I knew it, the best bet it was good for me to be free. I'll deal with the situation after I get free. And it was scary. How am I going to support myself? What am I going to do once I get free? 
For 10 years, incarceration is all I knew. And that's what y'all problem is. You really are afraid to be free. And that's a damn shame. Grown men and women running around in all these old beautiful clothes. Africa, red, green, and, and you try to look the part of a free man, but you really don't want to be free. And that's a damn shame. And you want to bring all the other black folks down with your scary ass. Mm -mm -mm. Come help Angus Nutton of Seven. Come this way. Those of us who really want to be free. And let us show them cowards how it's supposed to be done. Thank you for listening. This is your brother Tony Keeping Raw. This was and is. And I ain't saying this scary. The reality's temple on earth.